places to listen to some live music too. Oh yeah, absolutely. And a lot of people probably going out to that as well. And they're hoping <laughs> for good weather. <laughs> yeah, no, I th the weather's gonna be nice this weekend. We're even gonna be treated to just a subtle drop in humidity. You'll notice it more at night, early mornings. Mm. Uh, you're not gonna need the jacket or anything. <laughs> but mid 70s as opposed to 80 degrees, we were in the lower 80s for a good part of this week. So just a little drop in humidity, maybe a little teaser of what's to come because fall officially begins on Sunday, the autumnal equinox, 843 in the morning. Now here in Southwest Florida, as we know, it normally takes a while before our version of fall to finally hit. Usually we don't see that first fall front until late October, closer to Halloween. And if not then, usually into early November. So we still have quite some time. Mid to upper 70s this morning, actually a little bit cooler compared to this time yesterday. 76 right now in the Cape and from Cape Coral to Naples, Port Charlotte, we're dry and all the way out excuse me, to Lake Okeechobee. There's just a few showers that we're tracking in the Gulf waters this morning. We'll keep things dry, clear, and quiet for your finally Friday as we go through the next several hours. By one o'clock, we're up to 90 degrees, so right back up into the lower 90s again today. And then as we get closer to about three, four o'clock and into the late afternoon, we'll have some areas of rain and thunderstorms to track. Not going to be very widespread, very spotty and hit and miss today. I think a lot of areas will end up staying dry, actually. And looking town by town at your high temperatures, average high for this day at 90 degrees. So you can see we're just a little bit above average for this time of year across uh, southwest Florida. And the heat index, while you know most people would say, yeah, that's hot. It's going to feel like 100 to 103. We've had many days over the last couple weeks when those heat index values have been up closer to 105 to 110. So that is actually an improvement. So starting with sunshine for your Friday, some isolated afternoon storms, rain coverage around 40% today. And then also mentioning again, minor coastal flooding at high tide today, mainly across sections of Collier County where we have a coastal flood advisory in place until five o'clock. And I think the tide situation will be much better as we get into the weekend. Sunset tonight, at 725 and after the sun sets, I think a lot of those storms will gradually start to fade away. The ones that we do see developing. Here's your updated future cast, expecting nice, clear, quiet conditions for the first half of your Friday. After lunchtime, a few areas of rain begin to pop up near I-75 and Highway 41. And then we'll see some more areas of showers and thunderstorms bubbling up through the heat of the day. There's a look at 7 o'clock and 730 and we're not done with the rain quite yet. I know we've got high school football going on tonight. You probably have Friday night plans. If you want to have dinner outdoors. You probably want to check in on the NBC2 First Alert Live Doppler Radar and Chief Meteorologist Allison Ray because there will be some areas of rain around the area. But I think there's going to be more dry, dry backyards compared to wet ones. So taking you through the evening and overnight tonight, we'll see a little faster drop in temperatures as we work down into the mid 70s, around 75 degrees by 7 a.m. Across our inland neighborhoods, as you get away from the Gulf, 72 in Gateway. We're not going to be tracking any 60s, but it's going to be pretty comfortable. Maybe if you want to go on that early morning walk on Saturday or Sunday. Isolated afternoon storms around for the weekend, but I'm going to lower rain chances to 30% both days. And there you have it into early next week. Rain chances continue to drop off. Now there is a chance by the second half of next week that we could see a little more tropical moisture moving into southwest Florida. A lot of that depends on what's going to happen with that potential system that we could see developing in the northwestern Caribbean. And if something does develop, it would move into the Gulf of Mexico. The question is exactly where in the Gulf is it going to go? And the reason why it's so hard to answer that question right now is because there's nothing on the map to track and models are notoriously bad at trying to forecast something that doesn't even exist. We'll go into more detail in the tropics coming up, but as we look at the next seven days, we will increase those rain chances by the second half of next week and we'll keep our temperatures in the 90s. But we do have an 89 uh, 10 days out from now, so and maybe some improvement as we get into the first week of fall. That's your NBC2 first alert forecast.